Today we're going to talk about the power of transformation. You see, if you were a tree and you're planted in the middle of a yard and there is a monsoon and it rains and it's constantly raining, the ground is saturated with water. There's quite a bit of moisture in the air and quite a bit of moisture in the ground. If that happens and you are a tree and you do no growing, it benefits you in no way whatsoever. That's the same thing with change. You see, change comes and go. But without growth, that change means absolutely nothing. A lot of times people could go through change. People could go through circumstances. People could go through hard times, but it doesn't change them in any way. It doesn't cause them to grow. They don't grow. They don't learn. They don't develop. They don't sprout roots. They don't do anything. They just return to the same old shape. And because they return to the same old shape, there is absolutely no transformation. You see, when, when a caterpillar wraps itself into a cocoon and it stays there for a, a certain period of time and it morphs and it moves and its body structure changes and the whole structure of its skeleton and everything changes and all of it, all this change occurs. But you see, as this change occurs, it's growing and it's developing and it's changing into something that will be totally different, something that will cause it to catapult forward, something that will cause it to gravitate and become that which it, 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 it's desired to be. You see, when that caterpillar go, undergoes that uh, process of metamorphosis, it turns from a caterpillar who crawls around on the ground to a butterfly who soars into the sky. It turns from something slow and sluggish to something that's able to maneuver with the time. It turns from something that seems rather insignificant to something that becomes a wow factor. You see, that's what changes does. So you see, as you're going through the pandemic, as you're going through all the stuff that's going on around you, do not return to your same old self. Do not allow that change to keep you the same. Grow in that change. You know, look at your companies, grow your companies, increase your customer service, be better at your customer service. When you become better at your customer service, you will retain customers. Reach out to your customers, find out how they are doing, check on them, you know, see how their families are doing, check on them and make sure they're okay. See if you can help them in any way. If you're a teacher or instructor or anything, reach out to your students. Find out what's going on with them. How are they feeling? How are they coping with the whole pandemic? You know, how can you help them? If you're a friend, reach out to your friends. You know, get to know them. You know, uh, ask them how they're doing. You know, ask them how they're coping with the situation. And have a vigilant eye. Look out for areas in which you can help others. The one key thing with change, change has to facilitate growth. You see, the roots of that tree after that monsoon has to go down deep. And as those roots go down deep and they gravitate down deep and they sprout and they develop roots, then that tree becomes stronger. So you, through hard times, through change, you have to grow. If you are not growing, if you're remaining just the same like how you are, then the change that occurred was useless. Then the change occurred did not do what it was supposed to do. You see, so none of us should come out of this the same. You know, if you haven't been reading, if you haven't been studying, if you haven't been growing yourself, you know now is the perfect time to let it grow. Grow spiritually, grow, grow physically, grow mentally, grow, grow emotionally. Get from underneath the, 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 the suckles of other people's knowledge and other people's experience and other people's dictates of what you should know and go and learn things for yourself. Get into the good book. Open it. Crack it open. Develop and cultivate an intimate relationship with your creator. Dig deep. Dig deep and allow it to permeate your soul. Dig deep and allow that, that voice to rise up with you. Courage and faith to rise up with you. Dig deep and allow yourself to grow. Dig deep and allow yourself not to settle with the same old, same old. 
You see, as you do that, then when you congregate with other Christians or other people like-minded, it won't be like a social club anymore. It will be a passion. It will be of love. It will be something intimate. It will be because of a, 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 of a, a, a true calling. It will be because of a true connection with your creator. You see, we've maneuvered through our lives, you know, and we've gone with the beat and we've gone with the drum. We have developed and cultivated relationship based upon our feelings, what they think about us and all of that. And deep within, there is no root. Deep within, there is nothing there. You see, you cannot fall away from something or believe something you shouldn't believe if you know what the truth is. So you have to take time out and you have to crack open the good book and you have to know what it says. You got to learn what it says. You got to allow the spirit of your creator to bring it alive to you. You have to allow it to be like, like Jeremiah said, it feels like fire shut up in my bones. But that cannot happen if you do not cultivate that intimate relationship. That intimate relationship comes every single day. It's something that you can do every single day. And as you do it every single day, you will see change occurs. <sighs> I remember as a kid, you know, I watched Transformers. And it was so unique when you see um, Optimus Prime or one of them transform because you see this huge semi truck transform into the Gigantus, you know, robot, you know, and, and uh, this, even the Decepticon so, or Starscream or one of those, you know, you have a little small little cassette, you know, and this cassette transforms into this mega robot, you know, so you see the fundamental fact is, you know, that, that now is the time for you to transform. Now is the time for you to grow. Now is the time for you to go from what, what you once were to what you, you you should be you see when you have transformation you cannot go backwards but when you see when a when a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly it cannot undo the process and go back to a caterpillar you see so whenever you have a transformation when you have a, you have growth occurring in your life that growth is permanent that growth takes you from one point of low bar to a, a next level and you see as you grow you keep leveling up and as you level up you keep becoming somebody totally different you become somebody totally unique you become somebody who thinks at a totally different plane you become somebody who walks at a different faith level Some Someone who believes what they're, what, what they're talking about. Someone who has a strong self-confidence. Someone who can move within the power and the authority and understanding that his creator has placed within him. You see, transformation is so unique. You want to transform. <laughs> if you if you always said you know like for instance if you if if you are a, a, a trainer you know like a workout trainer. You know, it doesn't make any sense to be something if you just know of one thing. I tutor and I mentor, you know, so therefore I don't only just know about different subjects. I have to know psychology. I have to know how to encourage others. I have to know how to, how to, to strengthen others. I have to know how to listen because people will have issues and, and all of those things. I have to know different areas because then they'll ask me my opinion and they'll ask me my advice on different things. So you have to take care of the total package. You see, when you are a, a trainer, you don't want to only just know the type of working out that people need to do, but you want to understand the physiology of the body. You have to understand how the muscles work. You have to understand what kind of recipes, what are, what are some of the good recipes. You have to be a good cook. You see, if you strive to be a good cook, understand nutrition and understand the sleep pattern and the psychology of the person, then you are able to help that person. You see, if you're going to help them physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, then you have a total, total package that you're giving your customers. So you see, you can't just be one-sided. That's the same thing when it comes to your spiritual life. You see, you not only just know about the spiritual side, you gotta know about the physical and the emotional and, and, and the, the economic side as well. You gotta help the total package. It doesn't make any sense for somebody to walk away and be spiritually enlightened, but they're broke and they can't eat. You see, so you have to be able to help the whole package and that's what facilitates and what that's what goes on in the process of growth. Because as you grow, you're able to help the whole person. 
You're not only able to help them spiritually, you're able to help them physically. Not only are you able to help them spiritually and physically, you're able to help them mentally and emotionally and economically. You see, you're able to help them in every different areas of their lives. So hence, they walk in wholeness. So go out there today and learn to be transformed. Let it grow. Let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Grow into that behemoth that you're created to be. Transform into that person that you're created to be. Have an awesome growth day. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button below. And when you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to select the bell. Because when you select the bell, it will notify you of when I add new videos. I'll be adding more than one video a week. As you can see, I'm making one. I've made one already and one is already posted. And this one is fixing to be posted right now. So you'll be surprised. <laughs> you might get five a week, two a week, three a week. You never know. It all depends on how the creator moves upon me. God bless you.